The Jody Arias penalty phase retrial is coming to a close. Very soon. They say later this morning or this afternoon it's going to be uh, in the hands of the jurors to decide her fate. Kylie Cruz is in downtown Phoenix with the latest. Good morning, everybody. The jury will start deliberating as soon as lunchtime. But first this morning, the defense has one last shot to try to convince jurors to spare Jody Arias' life. And yesterday, during day one of closing arguments, jurors got to hear two very different sides. One that showed Arias as a real person, sorry for what she did. The other painted her as a ruthless killer who deserves the death penalty. Defense attorney Kirk Nurmi was up first. He tried to humanize Arias, showing the jury an assortment of photos. He also spent time telling jurors that Arias suffers from mental illness, which includes a borderline personality disorder and PTSD. Prosecutor Juan Martinez, though, on the other hand, tried to convince the jury that Arias knew exactly what she was doing when she murdered former boyfriend Travis Alexander. Legal experts we talked to don't think Martinez did enough, though, to sway jurors to choose the death penalty. He should have showed how Jody Arias planned this murder, how Jody Arias committed and executed this murder, how she tortured Travis Alexander, and then she covered up and continued to tell different stories for two years. And instead, he basically just answered questions that the defense had. And remember, it has to take all 12 jurors. They all have to agree to the death penalty. If they can't come to that decision, then she will be given life in prison. Reporting live outside Superior Court, I'm Kylie Cruz. Back to you.